distance, speed, and time. Now, we've got an example here that we're going to go through, but before we get to that, I want to explain what here is on the on the right side. Okay, now the D, the S, and the T all stand for something. In fact, I'll start. I'll start there. D is your distance. S is speed, and T stands for time. Now, sometimes you want to find the distance travelled, sometimes you want to find the speed, and sometimes in a question they're going to ask you to find the time. And each one has a different formula, but this triangle helps in figuring out what the formula is. If we look at the D, if we want to find the distance, that means we've got to use the S and the T somehow. Now notice that they are next to each other. If they are next to each other, you just write this, speed times time, because they're next to each other. Let's look at speed. If I want to find speed, I've got to find it in terms of distance and time. This time, distance is over time. So we write D over T. If I want to find time, then I need to do it in terms of distance and speed. And this says distance over speed. So these are your three formulas you use, and they can all be found by using this special triangle method. All right, let's get into the example. Question A. If I travel at an average speed of 60 kilometers an hour, so speed is 60, for three hours, so time is three, how far will I have traveled? So it's asking you to calculate the distance, which we do using speed times time. Now speed is 60, and time is 3, and 60 times 3 is 180. Okay, now we should put units next to that. Because it's in kilometers per hour, this will be in kilometers. All right, let's look at question B now. The distance from Brisbane to Sydney is approximately 914 kilometers by car. So it's a distance of 914 kilometers. Um, calculate the time it would take for you to travel from Brisbane to Sydney if you traveled at an average speed of 85 kilometers per hour. So your speed is 85 kilometers per hour for the whole trip. Give your solution correct to the nearest minute. All right, so what they want us to do is they want us to calculate the time. And time is distance divided by speed. Now, distance is 914 over 85. This is one we're going to do on the calculator, and you have to do it on the calculator. I'll show you why soon. Uh, now, this gives you a decimal. I'm going to write the decimal down for now, but it's not the full answer. So it's going to take 10, about 10.75 hours. All right. Now, they want you to do it correct to the nearest minute, which actually means they want you to say how many hours and how many minutes. Now, it's not 10 hours and 75 minutes, because 75 minutes is actually more than an hour. And there's a special button on your calculator Depending on your calculator, it could be something with a DMS or my one, which is a Casio, it has like a little circle with three little commas on it. And you might have to fill around for a bit, but sometimes you just push the button. On my calculator, I did. Um, sometimes you need to do second function in the button. In the button, you're just going to have to work it out. And on my calculator, it tells me that my time is 10, and it says it looks like degrees, but that just means hours. And then it says 45, and that's the amount of minutes it took them. And if you think about that, um, 0.75 represents three quarters of an hour, and three quarters of an hour is 45 minutes.